Jennifer Seeger and welcome back to my channel, The Seeger Stories. Today is very exciting. It is day two of our cruise in the Bahamas. So it's about 7.30 this morning. We are just waking up and ordered some coffee sent to the room that I am enjoying immensely and just sitting out on our veranda and taking it all in. It is gorgeous out this morning. The water is very, very calm, very still, very blue. It's just a perfect morning. So if you're just joining my channel, my husband Nate and I are on a Disney land and sea trip. We've been in the Disney parks for five days and then boarded a cruise yesterday. So today is our first full day of sailing. Last night was our first night aboard the ship and we both slept amazing. The beds were so comfortable. I was a little wary yesterday because I was feeling the ship rocking a little bit, but realized this morning because we had looked last night at the water and we could see like white caps and it was really, really windy this morning. It is still and calm and we cannot feel a thing. So only when the water is choppy did we feel it a little, but this morning is just great and we didn't feel it at all sleeping. And like I said, it was just an amazing night's sleep. So day two for us should have been in the Bahamas but due to changes that the country made requiring that all persons in port or docking at the country be vaccinated, Disney made a change and today is instead just a day at sea for us, which is actually fine because we are here to enjoy the cruise and all that Disney has to offer. Stopping at ports would be just icing on the cake and we weren't even sure if we were going to get off the ship in the Bahamas. We are really looking forward to Castaway Key. That is tomorrow, but today we're just here to enjoy the ship. And that's gonna start with brunch at Palo. We have coming up at 10 o'clock this morning. So we've just got a couple hours to relax and enjoy the views. And there are some character greetings and things, but I'm not sure if we're going to do much uh, right away this morning. We've had a long week in the parks and it just feels so good to take it easy, relax, enjoy some coffee, and then have a really good brunch. We're really looking forward to Palo, which is, if you're not familiar, that's an additional service. So there are restaurants, of course, that are included with your cruise package, but Palo and Remy are some signature restaurants that you do pay an extra fee. So this is kind of a quote unquote excursion that we signed up for. So yeah, that's today. It should be kind of a relaxing day, but we're super excited to have you here. If you do like the video, make sure you're clicking that like button below and also subscribing to the channel. Let's enjoy day two at sea. Nate's a little worried because he just noticed that the phone has his name on it. That is super weird. I'm in trouble. Answered it because somebody called to ask how dinner was last night. We wonder if that's a standard thing or if they're super concerned that I didn't get an entree because <laughs> our server was just super worried that I ordered a side dish as my main meal and then I didn't like it. And I explained like it wasn't, it wasn't them and it didn't matter because I was so full because when you have pasta for an appetizer followed by a bunch of bread and soup, you're kind of done. So I don't know. I don't know if the calling is standard or if, yeah, they're just super worried about that. But Nate answered the phone and now it says his name, but maybe it said it before that and we just didn't notice. I don't know. Somebody's watching us. Anyway, we're just, we're still just relaxing. We're watching Monsters Inc. and kind of having a lazy morning and it feels so good. Okay, we made it to Palo for brunch. I'm so excited. We got our complimentary um, mimosas to start out. Cheers. We have the most stunning view and um, so many good things on the menu. It is really gonna be tough to decide what to order today. Oh boy. So. Our first course of pastries, bread, and our meat and cheese tray came out. And I feel like we're already gonna be full. So this is just some select meats and cheeses. These are the pastries that we got. I got an almond croissant, and Nate got an apple blueberry muffin. And, and then the bread basket includes some garlic, garlic parmesan breadsticks, some ciabatta, We've got an apple, blue cheese, focaccia bread, and then this is a sun-dried tomato and goat cheese roll. And then they also 
I can get it here, gave us some oil and balsamic. So that is, oh my gosh, a feast already. And um, we're just barely getting started here, folks. Just absolutely amazing. This almond croissant is possibly the best thing I've ever eaten in my life. I highly recommend and everything's great. The cheeses, the meat selection. I've had a couple tastes of bread. My biggest fear is getting too full before we get to the next course because everything is just phenomenal. Correction, the best thing I've ever eaten is this focaccia bread. It's got caramelized onions on the top and blue cheese. It's phenomenal, phenomenal. <laughs> okay, so course number two has come out. I hung on to my almond croissant. <laughs> In case, but I got the celery soup, which our server recommended, and then Nate got the um, tomato basil, and gonna get some fresh ground pepper on that. Ooh, that is very tasty. Even our server said like celery is usually a strong flavor, and you wouldn't expect it in a soup. This is really really good though. If you're a fan of celery, how's the tomato basil? So, two thumbs up yet again. All right, so here's course number three. Three, the egg course. <laughs> Nate got the three cheese omelet. That looks so good. And then this is our server's recommendation. I got the eggs Florentine, which is like the Benedict, but it's got the post egg with spinach and a Mornay sauce. Not sure what Mornay is, but excited to dig in. This is so good. I seriously am only taking one more bite and then I absolutely have to be done. I can't even finish this, but it is amazing. I just don't want to get too full. <laughs> Nate did better on his omelet, but we have to save room because we've still got an entree coming. I can't even believe it. This is my mid-dinner nap. We're so full. So our entrees just arrived. This is the chicken parmesan with, um, there is a something rice risotto under there. And then Nate got the lasagna. And then we also got just a tasting of the artichoke ravioli with some fresh parmesan on there. And everything looks amazing. I cannot wait to dig in. So we've had some bites. Overall, this is the winner. The artichoke ravioli is amazing. Lasagna is good. It's lasagna bolognese, so it's got a sausage in there. The chicken is really, really good. Everything's great, but I think that this one will be my favorite. So, it's dessert time, and I can't believe I can't believe we're hungry enough to eat dessert, but we had to try a few things. So Nate got two and I got two. Nate got the vanilla berry panna cotta, which is has a strawberry basil sorbet that looks so good. And then his second one is this raspberry chocolate crunch tart, which is a ganache with fresh raspberries and whipped cream. I love how it says Palo on the top. My first dessert is a limoncello almond tort. It has citrus salad, katafi pastry, I don't know what that is, and clotted cream, which I'm really curious about because I've always wanted to know what that was. I've heard of that before. So you must put the clotted cream on the tort. And then I have one more coming in just a minute. She couldn't even carry all of our dessert out to the table at once. So my second dessert came out. It is a warm amaretto chocolate fondant served with espresso gelato. So that looks amazing. It's already melting. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let it be said, the Seegers know how to eat. We pretty much, <laughs> we cleaned up here. Still some of that left. Yep, raspberry tort is gone. And that, was by far the best thing. The raspberry basil sorbet. That was really good, really raspberry. This is just like a lava cake molten fudge. I'm sure it looks so appetizing to see the aftermath of all of this. Okay, we are back in our stateroom. We had brunch at Palo. It was amazing. If you 
go on a Disney cruise. I highly recommend it. If you've been on a Disney cruise, leave me a comment and let me know your favorite thing. I definitely think if we're on another cruise, I want to go again if we're on the Disney Dream because there were so many things we didn't get to try, though we did get to try a lot. It was crazy. It was a lot of food, but it was really, really good. Can't say enough great things about it. Our view was stunning. Just the whole restaurant was amazing looking out over the ocean and the atmosphere and they were playing like this nice Italian kind of just soothing music. It looked like there was even an outdoor deck that you could eat on and she pointed out the chandelier that you first walked in or the, the light fixture it was all blown glass. She said it was from the Czech Republic and just just from start to finish, the whole experience was amazing. And then we went to an activity that they were hosting in the D Lounge for making a door hanger, which <laughs> <laughs> we maybe could have done without. Uh, I was yeah, supposed to. It was, uh, <laughs> not really what I expected. <laughs> Me neither. I thought it would be more permanent, but it was just like gluing stuff on paper. Yeah, well, it's basically just like. Okay. <laughs> here's, a... here's blunt nose scissors and Crayola yeah. mark, which is, it's fine. It's just funny because we were laughing. It was maybe a little more geared towards kids. Yeah. And there were no, no kids there. It was no. all adults. So, yep. Anyway, so we're going to go up to the pool deck. Tangled is playing on the funnel vision. And yeah, we should have a nice sunny afternoon. It looks gorgeous. All right, we made it to the pool deck. We found some chairs. We've got Tangled starting on the big screen in a few minutes, but first we're gonna try the Aqua Duck, which is a, what is it, a water slide coaster. Yes. It looks pretty fun, water so. Coaster. Water coaster, there you go. All right, let's see how it is. the funnel vision and they have different movie times available so we're nice in the shade we got some drinks just sipping on some lemonade might take a little dip in the pool and have a really relaxing afternoon we're just hanging out watching the movie and we found goofy goofy dressed as a pharaoh also even though I just had brunch <laughs> Two hours ago, they have blueberry ice cream today, so I got a vanilla blueberry cone. And as I was walking, just as a point of correction, I was looking at the aqueduct, and it does go off the ship, so I just missed it. In the excitement of the ride, I just missed where it went off the ship, kind of over the side. Again, really fun. We're trying to decide if maybe we'll go on it again, but kind of cool that we're watching Tangled on Funnel Vision right now. We just finished up riding the aqueduct and swimming and hanging out. We watched Tangled. We are now headed out to play bingo. I wanted to show you our cute shirts. Move your lanyard. My friend Christy gave me both shirts for my birthday. If I figure out where she got them, I'll link them below, but they're super cute and themed for Halloween on the high seas. And we just threw on clothes, didn't do my hair makeup anything so we're gonna have to get back to the room my hair is actually still gross and wet we're gonna have to get back to the room before shows and dinner tonight but we wanted to go and see what this bingo thing is all about so we're headed there now so we just got some bingo cards um you we weren't sure what it was about you do need to pay for them but it was like we paid the sign said 15 but we paid ten dollars for three cards and then it's 
four go around, so four different games that you get the chance to bingo. So you have to spend some extra money, but it should be a fun way to kill an hour or so. In the O column, it's O, 62. Oh, number 62. Oh, 62. If you got that one, say, oh. Excuse me, sir, who booed me? All of my jokes. Can you say, oh, by yourself? Oh. Wow. So brunch was feeling but a long time ago. So we stopped up at the kind of the cars themed uh, Flo's Cafe and Nate got some chicken strips and fries and I got this ham and red onion sandwich and a few fries. So it's about quarter to five right now, so it's a weird time to have a snack, but we don't have dinner until 8.15, and we were both feeling kind of hungry or like we needed some sort of snack, so hopefully this won't be too heavy, and we can still enjoy our dinner in just a few hours. Bingo is pretty fun. They gave away some fun prizes, I thought, like cash, but then they also, in addition to bingoing, did some name drawings and gave away like hats and different things, so it was something you had to pay extra to play, but I mean, it's worth it. We killed an hour. Nate really loves playing bingo. I hate it. It kind of stresses me out, but I will say that this wasn't like lightning speed numbers like I've experienced before. They like made jokes and just made it a really fun time. So it's a good, good afternoon activity and it was nice to be inside it was actually really freezing in the evolution lounge and after having been outside for like three hours it was really good to be indoors so we freshened up and we are just heading down to catch the show tonight it is the nightmare before christmas sing and scream so it's not a live production however we do get to have a meet and greet and we can go and say hello to jack and sally before hi there hello there hello <laughs> What do you have in your bag there? Are there are there toys in there for all the little girls and boys? No, we're selfish. We just bought ourselves some toys. Oh, you did? We did. So you're acting as your own Sandy Claus. <laughs> That's right. We're pretty good at it, yes. Very good. <laughs> yes. Cool. Sally, he has lots of bats to name. Have you named all of them? I have not. You haven't? No. Why not? I'm sorry. Oh dear, they might get lost. However, will you call them back? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yes, I have. Do you know my bat's name? No. It's Mark. Nice. Yes. With a C or a K? With a C. Oh, okay. Thank you for asking. Of course. Very specific. Well, I wanted to address my Christmas card properly. Oh, you're going to send a Christmas card? Yes. Oh, that's so kind of you. Oh, we love sending cards. Oh, we love Christmas. It is one of the best pastimes of, of Christmas. I agree. Yes, sending cards and gifts, <laughs> decorating the tree with all those lights. So we found a little cozy corner just off the atrium and we're waiting for dinner. We are at Crystal Palace tonight. We had the show I always say Crystal Palace. Nate just corrected me. It's Enchanted Garden. I can't get the name right for some reason. But we had a show tonight. Usually they kind of flip-flop. You have the earlier dinner and then a show afterwards or you have a show before and then you have the later dinner seating, which is us. So we get seated at 8.15, which is in about 15 minutes. The earlier show tonight was not a live performance. Last night was Beauty and the Beast. Tonight was the Nightmare Before Christmas Sing and Screen. And I have to be honest, that is not my movie. I know a lot of people like it. It is just not my thing. I think I've tried to watch it twice, like once when it first came out and once again a few years ago, and I'm not even sure I've ever gotten all the way through it. But tonight was an enhanced version called the Sing and Screen. So we thought it might add a little something. And we went, but they didn't do much. It was just some lighting tricks, and during the Oogie Boogie song, they had some bubbles released, and then at the end, just the first couple rows got snow. So it wasn't really that enhanced, and for somebody that is a huge fan, though, I'm guessing that is a really cool experience because we did get to meet Jack and Sally ahead of time. But for us, who, like I said, I tried to watch the movie a couple times and haven't. Nate had not ever seen it. We didn't have much to interact with Jack and Sally about because they didn't know what their movie was about. Um, but there were a lot of people there that obviously did and 
that's great that they have that available. I'm just not sure if they're not doing a show because typically on the cruise, our stateroom host was telling us there is the Believe show on the three night cruise and instead they did the movie and I'm not sure if that's due to COVID and not having as many live performers on the ship or if it is because we are on a Halloween themed cruise. Our cruise is called Halloween on the High Seas so it may very well be that they just kind of swapped it out for a more themed night. So anyway though, all in all, it's it's been another really fun day. We had brunch at Palo. We did grab a snack around four o'clock this afternoon. We are hungry again for a good dinner at eight o'clock at Enchanted Garden, not Crystal Palace. I'm gonna get that through my head sooner or later. So um, I'll check in with you when we are seated and show you all the yummy, good things that they have to offer because I'm sure there will be many. So we made it to Enchanted Garden for dinner. It's kind of cute. There's Nate. Hi, Nate. <laughs> so we have the QR code to scan for our menu once again. And this time, Nate reminded me to bring my phone so I can look it up myself. So we just put in our order and I got the applewood smoked bacon mushroom tart. And our waiter told me not to order it because it's not good. <laughs> He said only one person tonight has said it was really good. And most people don't like it. So I'm very, I'm even more intrigued now to try this to see what it's all about. So that's what's coming out first. We're really excited to have our first course. Our server also said that there is a show in the middle of our dinner, but he's not gonna tell us what. I don't know if he's telling the truth. This kind of seems like one that might be pulling our leg. So. I haven't heard about that, but we'll see. We are super excited, looking forward to another good meal and then Disney Ever After fireworks are happening. They just put that on the Navigator app, though they started announcing it throughout the late afternoon and evening, so we are excited about that. Hopefully weather permitting, because there has been some lightning outside, but Nate did overhear the captain talking to another couple and saying that he doesn't think the storm will affect things. So hopefully we'll still be getting to see fireworks after our meal tonight. All right, my mushroom tart just arrived. So it's the moment of truth. I think it looks delicious. So we're gonna see how this all plays out. I like it. It's really good. I think it's really good. <laughs> this is our server that told me it wasn't good. <laughs> but he's a liar. No, thank you. No pepper. Um, He's a liar, because it's really good. I didn't like it. It's pretty good. So in the irony of all ironies, this Nate's lobster good. ravioli dish that was recommended. Neither of us like it, but Nate, how's the mushroom tart? It's good. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm... So Nate also likes the mushroom tart, which is funny because Nate doesn't like mushrooms, and I gave him a bite without mushrooms, so it's mostly just like bacon, and I think it's like an egg kind of. Yeah. Doesn't it taste eggy? Yeah, like a quiche. Ish. Yeah, like a quiche. I don't know. We both think it's really good. So yeah. there's our two cents on the appetizers at Enchanted Garden. So Nate didn't like the lobster, so they brought him out the tuna. How's that? That's much better. Yeah. What is it again? It's tuna tart. Ahi tuna and avocado. Av ahi tuna and avocado. And now, please welcome Mickey and the Gay. Our main courses have arrived. I got from the lighter fare menu, and how this is lighter fare is still beyond me, the grilled sirloin with some roasted root vegetables, and then I got a baked potato. There's some sour cream on the side. Nate got the prime rib, and then keep turning. Let's see it all. And then <laughs> there's some vegetables hidden in there, I think. There they are. And a twice baked potato. Playing. Yep. Yeah, we're showing off all the food here. That's what we do. This is cracking me 
up that this is from the lighter fair menu because I could actually <laughs> I could see fat on it, which isn't a bad thing. It's really flavorful, it's very tender, it's a really good steak. How is your prime rib? Good. So overall, main course is really good here and we got a floor show, so I'm happy. Can't wait to see what is on the dessert menu. I'll show you that in just a few minutes for now. I'm so gonna down this. If there's <laughs> if there's one thing we learned from this trip, it's that the Seegers can put away the dessert. So Nate got the hold on, it's not folk. I wanna focus on that little chocolate. There it is. Oh, it's got a Mickey chocolate. It is a peanut butter brownie bites with chocolate ice cream and whipped topping. That looks amazing. How is it? Really good. He can't even talk. It's so good. And then I have the southern pecan tart with a bourbon caramel sauce. And then our server insisted on a side of ice cream. But I don't know what you think. That doesn't look much like a side. That kind of looks like its own, its own dessert onto itself. So in essence, again today I'm having two desserts. I'm gonna explode at the end of this vacation. I'm pretty sure. And a bonus dessert just showed up because our servers wanted to wish us a happy Halloween with this spider cake. He's a little creepy, but he looks good. So if anybody's counting, that's seemingly like four desserts to get through in the next few minutes. We've got an hour before fireworks. We'll let you know how we do. Well, in case you want an update, we did pretty good number on Spidey here. That was a flourless chocolate cake with like a raspberry coulis and the sprinkles are mini and Mickey or just Mickey maybe. They're so cute. That was really good. This is vanilla bean ice cream. That was really good. This was just okay. To be honest, I probably would have eaten more but that chocolate cake mousse thing kind of kicked its butt. And then Nate, you did pretty good there, mister. How are you feeling? I think I, I think Nate's gonna pass out. But you gotta stay awake. We've got like 45 minutes before fireworks. Can you make it? I'm gonna try. <laughs> okay, we made it up to deck 12 for the fireworks. They are practicing social distancing. We've been told everybody has a blue dot, one per family, and to stay on your blue dot to watch the fireworks. Hey, dude. How's it going? This Hello. is <laughs> this is cracking me up. Oh my gosh. And some chocolates. I am loving this turn down service, and they always close the curtain. It's so nice. <sighs> anyway, we just got back from seeing the fireworks. I'm all windblown because we were up on deck 12, and it was actually quite windy up there. Uh, but very very socially distanced, very responsible. They had blue dots all over and it was one family per dot and they were walking around just like making sure that people were giving the appropriate distance and they even had like a little dance party going on down on deck 11 and it looked like they were being distanced, kind of like dance in your own spot. So overall feeling again very safe with how the ship is handling the social distancing but we just got back to our stateroom. It's, I don't know what time, like 20 to 11, I think. Fireworks were at 10.30. They were only a few minutes long, but very spectacular. But it was kind of cool to be up there and just have the open sky. We were right by the railing and it was just a really fun experience. Disney Cruise Line is the only cruise line that has permission to shoot off fireworks. So that's kind of a cool thing and kind of a bonus you get for being another bonus you get for being on a Disney cruise. But anyway, it was another great day, another excellent meal. I should say that this, I mean, after brunch at Palo, it was, I won't say a letdown, but it's not on the same level, but it was still good food. 
the dessert that they brought us, the chocolate spider, which we didn't order, they just brought to us, it like kicked my dessert's butt and I didn't even eat my dessert, I just ate that flourless chocolate cake or mousse or whatever it was. So um, that was good. Just overall, everything has been super yummy. I feel like I'm gonna definitely need to start watching what I eat the second I get home, but for now I'm enjoying all the delicious food. I'm gonna sign off on today because again, I'm tired and sometimes when I'm tired, I can't stop talking. So I'm gonna stop talking and thank you for watching this video. If you did like it, please click that thumbs up button below. Also subscribe to the channel. We've got one more full day and then we disembark uh, day after tomorrow. So tomorrow is a big day. We are going to Disney's private island castaway key. Super excited about that. Hope you'll join us. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. <laughs>